Hello everyone, welcome to your lecture on research ethics. This lecture is part of your paper on communication research. As you know that ethics is very important for any activities you undertake. So this is what we are going to discuss in this particular module. To understand research ethics, we must understand the terms of research and ethics. According to the Research Excellence Framework 2014, research is a process of investigation leading to new insights effectively shared. It is a multi-stage process and ethics are central to this process. Ethics in general terms are the moral principles that govern a person's behavior. So research ethics can be referred to as doing what is morally and legally right in research. Now, we would discuss more in detail about research excellence framework, basically for conduct and distinguish between right and wrong and acceptable and un unacceptable behavior during research process. Researchers need to take care of various ethical issues at every step of this process. Ethical considerations have been gaining paramount importance across the research community with an increase in the public concern about the limits of the inquiry and legislative changes in human rights and data protection. Also, the advent of technology is another factor leading to the rising importance of ethics in the field of communication research. According to Resnick, research ethics are the common denominators for researchers' relations with respondents and colleagues. Thus, according to Jensen, the material available on the internet also gives rise to a number of ethical issues. This is in part because the status of computer-mediated communication as a social context on a scale from the public to private is unresolved. Depth is another factor. The strength of qualitative research also poses serious issues for the ethics of research. Some of the important issues we need to talk about which was first drafted in 1980 with the revised draft in 2003. In India, however, being one of the most diverse countries in the world, researchers have to work within a variety of cultural, political, economical, and religious settings. Therefore, researchers must possess adequate knowledge regarding the characteristics of ethical problems in social research. Thus, in this lecture, Apart from the general ethical issues, we will also attempt to draft some ethical issues of local concern encountered by the Indian researchers. Now, when we discuss about ethical ethos, let us understand what involves the ethical ethos. First and foremost, the responsibility of a researcher is to take care of the safety, dignity, rights, and well-being of the participants. Both the researcher and participants have an important role to play. Participants' rights are the researcher's obligations. Researchers must consider their research from participants' perspective. According to the University of Seifel, uh, the principal concern to take care of in research involving human participants personal data and human tissue is respect for the participant's dignity, rights, safety, and well-being. Further, as per 
the university, all the ethical issues encountered at various stages of the research process may be taken care of at two major levels. One is researchers' obligations and the second is participants' rights. Researchers' obligations, we observe that these are such as they must ensure that their research is conducted with honesty, objectivity and integrity and the researchers must seek consent from the participants for their participation and must respect people, their cultures, values, religions, economic status and so on. Researchers are under the obligation to take care of the confidentiality and personal information or identity of the participants as per his or her choice. Researchers should avoid experiments which may pose a threat to both the participants and the researchers themselves. Apart from the participants, the researcher has also an obligation towards society, her colleagues or other researchers and funders of the project. Now, while discussing about participant rights, we broadly we discuss the participants on the other hand have the exclusive right to give consent to participate, withdraw from or refuse to take part in the research project. Participants have right to seek confidentiality and stop personal information and identifiable data from publishing or sharing. They have right to seek their safety and security. Whenever required, the data should be kept secure and participants should not be exposed to unnecessary or disproportionate levels of risk. Different types of research method need a different set of ethical guidelines. To make it easy to understand, we will address research ethics in two parts, research participant ethics and general ethics. We will enlist different ethical issues arising at various stages of the research process. Now while discussing about research ethics, that is researcher and participant, the relationship, the researcher has a primary responsibility towards the participants and other researchers, such as informed consent is the prime responsibility of the researcher. A standard procedure in professional codes of ethics is informed consent. It means to seek consent for the participation from people and in the case of children and few other exceptional cases, the informed consent of participants as well as their guardians must be obtained. The researcher must reveal all the risk as well as information associated with the research to the participants. He or she should highlight all the negative and positive aspects of the research during the consent process, aim, objectives and nature of the research, duration of the study, sponsors and other important information must be revealed to the participants. The knowledge gap between the researcher and the participants must be considered. The privacy, anonymity and confidentiality of the participants and data must be given due consideration. Participants must be given an option of rejecting data gathering devices like camcorders, audio recorders, etc. To make them convenient and easily understandable, the questionnaire and other forms of rating scales must be designed in the native language of the participants. Participant safety is the prime concern. They should not be exposed to risks greater than they encounter in the normal lifestyle. The researcher must also take care of their own safety. He or she must take care of cultural, religious, economic, psychological, spiritual, physiological, biological, political, social and other issues of the participants. Researchers are expected to consider ethical implications of the research. 
to uphold the ethical standard in the research process, the researcher must accept and respect the principles of integrity, honesty, objectivity, and openness. While discussing about general ethics, we come across that apart from previously discussed guidelines, a researcher needs to take care of some general ethical issues at different stages of the research process as follows. As some topics are controversial in their nature, so it becomes the prime duty of the researcher to check whether the topic to be studied has an innate ethical ramifications. Thus, before finalizing the topic, the ethical implication of the topic must be given a thought. Ethics plays a paramount role in the studies involving direct human contacts. Thus, the effects of the research on subjects must be given due consideration. Harmful research should be avoided. Researchers conducting studies involving human subjects should clearly describe and justify research protocol in the research design itself. Authorship. Each author must be credited in the manuscript. At the same time, all the persons listed as authors in the articles should have contributed significantly to both the research and writing. Data management. The data must be collected in a way that does not harm or injure anyone. In case of issues of conflict, a clear and ethically sound plan for data management must be carried out. Besides that, the ethical and truthful collection of a reliable data, ownership and responsibility of collected data, retaining data and sharing access to collected data with colleagues and the public are the three most important ethical issues must be taken care of in data management process. Data manipulation must be avoided. Avoid plagiarism. Researchers must properly cite the original source. He or she has to act responsibly and take care of copyright, intellectual property, patents, and other forms of rights, self-plagiarism, that is copying one's own work, must also be avoided. Breaking up or segmenting or slicing a law study into different papers is called salami publication or salami slicing. This is unethical as the study is based on same hypothesis, method, and population. Therefore, slicing the study and publishing more than one paper based on the same finding must be avoided. The research must contribute to the body of knowledge and not duplicate. Avoid any fabrication, falsification, and misrepresentation of data or result. Similarly, the manipulation of images or videos of other forms of illustrated work must be avoided. The researcher should report the data honestly as research misconduct is a sin. The author should retain the raw data as they may be asked for the data at the time of editorial review. The researcher should also unveil her or his personal or financial interest and must avoid bias. The researchers should not launch personal attacks against any individual, culture, religion, etc. They should uphold the moral values of the society, avoid discrimination on the basis of demography or on any other conditions. Carelessness and negligence must be avoided. The researcher should be critical of her own work and must keep a record of things. The researcher must maintain the confidentiality of records and other sensitive information. The researcher must abide by the rules and regulations of the land and both humans and animals must be handled carefully. 
both negative as well as positive findings revealed during the course of research should be reported. Besides, researcher and editor, sponsor and publisher, and reviewer of the research also have ethical obligations to the publication and dissemination of the findings of the study. People who, who anyhow help the researcher in conducting the research must be properly acknowledged. It is unethical to send the same manuscript to different reviewers or publications at the same time. Resubmitting an already published research paper or article with minor changes or under a different title to a journal violates international copyright laws, ethical conduct, and the cost-effective use of resources. The final report must clearly declare the sponsor of the study, institutional affiliations, and conflicts of interest. And finally, the findings of the research must be disseminated in an easily understandable report. While coming to ethical issues in India, mostly the matters of research ethics differ from method to method, but most importantly, ethics vary from place to place and culture to culture. For example, a Christian lady in white indicates a bride, while a Hindu lady in white indicates a widow. In most of the cases, especially in India, cultures vary from state to state and even from city to city. So researchers should have a depth of knowledge regarding cultures and other things of the place they are working with. During this study, Indian researchers should give utmost importance to the cultural diversity and religiosity of the country. They must work within a framework suitable for all the customs, traditions, language, caste, creed, colors, classes, regions, etc. They must work for the promotions of all the cultures, religions, etc., not the other way around. During the research, the researchers must keep in mind the wide economical knowledge and technological gap between the people of India. Regarding ethics committees, one of the downsides of research in India is that Indian universities lack research ethics committees. Researchers have no other option but to rely on their own common sense to eliminate and minimize various crucial ethical issues. Therefore, need for a common policy or a common framework both at a domestic as well as at national level, assisting Indian researcher in addressing the ethical issues is cardinal. Keeping in mind these concerns, following suggestions may prove to be fruitful, as there is a difference in the nature of issues arising in various methods of research. All the universities in India must be equipped with research ethics committees at the departmental level or faculty level. Research protocols may be submitted to such committees for consideration, guidance, improvement, and approval before the commencement of the study. These committees may help to promote the awareness regarding the do's and don'ts of the research. The committees may act as the mediators and advisor in disputed area. As witness, the ethical issues have shown an increase with an advent in technology. Thus, these committees may provide advice on all such matters. Such ethical committees may encourage an organizational research culture based upon defensible standards of research practice. These committees must be committed to a high quality, transparent and accountable research ethics throughout India. The committees may also monitor the progress of the ongoing studies. On the other side, the researcher may also update the committees regarding the events and issues and status of the research. At last, a copy of the thesis or research paper may also be submitted for the perusal of these committees. Now, conclusion while in concluding, I would like to say that in this lecture, we explored the dimensions of an ethical research, 
We also came to learn about the obligations a researcher has towards the participants in particular and society in general. We discussed the do's and don'ts of an ethical research. We also examined the ethical issues researchers uh, face in India. I also must keep in mind while conducting research. I hope these guidelines will help you in the future in conducting a sound research. As one is correct to say, conducted ethically research is a public trust. For more details, please read the module of this lecture carefully and attempt the questions in the end. Thank you.